uh, radiation. Next. Next. the benefits and hazards of electromagnetic waves telecommunications so what are the uses of this in mobile phone television set wi-fi microwave computers Induction cooktop, hair dryers, cordless phones, modems, routers, appliances, alarm systems. So, kung hindi natin alam yung itsura ng mga naan dyan, ayan po, the induction cooktop, modem, routers, yan, for sure familiar. Next is in medical, we have MRI or magnetic resonance imaging, laser lithotripsy, x-ray, computed tomography, or ito yung tinatawag nating CT scan, radiation therapy, chemo chemotherapy, immunotherapy, positron emission tomography. So, ito po yung mga pictures nila, the MRI, the less laser Lithotripsy, the CT scan, CT scan and MRI parang halos parehas lang po. Yan. So, in medical uses, but still have radiation. Next. Yun. In your module, um, in learning task 1, you're going to read and analyze the various effects of electromagnetic radiation in the environment and other living things. Then, you're going to answer the question. So, on that part, you're going to read the electromagnetic radiation, the environmental indicators in our surroundings. So, good luck. Also, you're going to do the learning task 2, wherein you're going to read and answer the questions after you read the, benefit, the benefits and hazard electromagnetic waves, telecommunications, physical, and biomedical. So, yung diniscuss natin. So, this time, we're going to discuss about the week 6, wherein the, it is the qualitative characteristics of images formed by mirror wherein we have the orientation, the type, and the magnification. So, what is incident ray? Incident ray is the ray of light approaching the mirror represented by an arrow. So, as you noticed, uh, si incident ray, as you, ayan yung i-absorb ni mirror, then, reflected ray, that is the light that leaves the mirror and is pre presented by arrow pointing away the mirror. So, is the incident papasok, si reflected palabas. As you noticed on the arrow din po, 
Yan, si incident ray, reflected ray, normal. Kaya halos copy siya. Pero, when it comes to diffuse, si incident ray, yan, pumasok siya, pero iba-iba yung direction niya. Of course, dahil nag-iba-iba yung direction niya, yung reflected ray niya, mag iba iba rin. Kaya po lumalabas, nagiging malabo yung itsura. Yan. Spherical mirror, we have here, uh, spherical mirror is a curved mirror, wherein this curved mirror is a reflecting surface, in which its surface is a section of sphere. There are two types of this mirror, we have the concave mirror and convex mirror. So, in concave mirror, it is a curved mirror with the reflecting surface on the hollow side. So, ayan po, as you noticed on the picture. If ever mag-enter si light, lalabas din siya doon. Then, in convex mirror, a convex mirror is a curved mirror with a reflecting surface on the outer side. Sa labas naman, kung si concave mirror nasa loob siya, nasa loob yung reflecting surface niya, pagdating kay convex mirror, nasa labas naman yung reflecting surface. Yan. Let's have the example of this. Example of concave mirror para maging familiarized tayo. So, we have mirrors used in automobile Headlights, reflecting telescopes, searchlights, etc. In convex mirror naman po, so we have the example of con, uh, convex mirror are the mirrors used as the rear side mirrors of vehicles, optical instruments, calling bell, and etc. So how about in the ray? Oh, in the ray, ayan na yung magiging um, what do you call this? The diagram. On your module, um, you're, you have there the copy of the diagram. So, this is the summarize. So, we have the ray for the convex and the concave. Uh, first, I will read the convex followed by concave. In ray, we have from object parallel to the principal axis, reflex of mirror in line with focal point. When it comes to concave, it is from the object parallel to the principal axis, reflex through focal point. The second one is from the object aimed at the focal point, reflex of mirror parallel to principal axis. And from the object through focal point, reflex of mirror parallel to principal axis. So, the third one is from object aimed at center of curvature reflex of mirror directed back to where it started. And from object through center of curvature reflex of mirror directed from to where it started. So, on your module, you're going to have the diagram kindly Read it and understand it. Yan. Ayun. Another difference of this. So, we have the convex and concave mirror. In convex mirror, it is a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface, surface is away from the center of the sphere. While concave is the concave mirror spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is toward the center of the sphere. The focus on the convex mirror lies behind the mirror while the concave while in the concave mirror the focus lies in front of the mirror. In convex mirror it is known as diverging mirror while concave is converging mirror. So, in the shape, as you notice, in convex, nandun po sa uh, reflecting surface niya is inside the mirror, while the concave mirror, yung reflecting surface niya is in outside. 
And next, the convex mirrors always form real, inverted, and diminished image, while concave mirror form different type of images depends on the position of the object. Yeah, next, we have in week 7, we have the qualitative characteristics of images formed by the lenses. Week 7 and week 8, if I'm not mistaken. Yon. So, we have the refraction, kanina reflection, the bouncing of light, this time refraction. You already discussed this when you were in grade 8. So, a sort of review. So, when we say refraction, it is the bending of light. It is also happens with sound, water, and other waves as it passes from one transparent substance into another. This bending by refraction makes it possible for us to have lenses. Magnifying glasses, prisms, and rings. Yeah, we have lenses. What are these lenses? Or lenses is a piece, or lens is a piece of glass or other transparent substance with curved side for concentrating or dispersing of light. Para po si light ay madispersed or maghiwahiwalay. So, best example of this is the prism. As you notice in the prism, halos white lang siya. Tama po ba? Or uh, transparent lang. When the uh, light ray enters the prism, nagdi-disperse yung light. And as you notice of light, nagdi-different colors po siya. Yan. So, we have the converging lens. And the diverging lens. So, as you notice po, converging, medyo bilog siya. Then, diverging, parang uh, medyo nakakurb naman po siya. Yan. So, example of lenses in converging lens. We have the biconvex or double convex. Ayan po yung itsura ng lens niya. Pag may nakita tayo. We have the plano convex. We have the meniscus convex. In diverging lenses naman po, we have the biconcave or the double concave, the plano concave, and the veniscus concave.